Appropriately, the first of the prophets to speak to the returned exiles after the captivity is called My Feast. Psalm 126 is helpful to read in this context, a song of joy from the hearts of those freed from captivity. But Haggai's message at first is not positive. The people have laid the foundation of the temple, but became discouraged and distracted. Sound familiar? No good work will proceed unchallenged, and a 15-year interruption resulted. The two chapters contain four messages, each dated and designed to encourage the people to finish the work. Consider your ways, he cries four times. His strategic ministry lasted for a period of only four months in the year 520 BC, but changed the course of history. After all, Jerusalem and the temple had to be rebuilt since it would be a vital part of the stage for the coming Messiah. Do you wonder what one person can do? Jeremiah was one against the tide and wrote a book that no one seemed to heed, except Daniel, who 70 years later read that Israel's captivity would only last that long and prayed for deliverance. He was only one, but God answered and sent his people home. Now Haggai, only one, is used to restart the building program. Later, when the temple is complete, no one knows how to use it but Ezra, one man, and he instructs them on its proper use. Still later, Nehemiah in Babylon hears that the walls are still broken down. God uses that one man to return and take on the project of fortifying Jerusalem. You're only one, and so were these, one plus God. This book has an obvious outline. Chapter 1 gives us two messages for younger people, and chapter 2 provides two messages for older people. In chapter 1, the young people say, This isn't the time to build the Lord's house. No, says the Lord. Is it time for you to build your own houses and look after yourselves? God challenges them. You've sown much and bring in little. You eat, but you don't have enough. And he who earns wages puts them into a bag with holes. Life is running through your fingers. This world is too small to satisfy. Give God his due. Only he can fill your hearts. The older folks have a different problem. Not busy with the present, they were distracted by the past. They remember the good old days with the beautiful Solomonic temple. No, says the Lord, it isn't like those days, but these can be the good new days. This temple will have a glory greater than the last, for God's incarnate Son will visit this one. And what's the great stimulus? To both groups, he says, I am with you. And that makes all the difference. This is a scripture snapshot of the prophecy of Haggai.